What's going on everyone? It's DV and today we're back with a new doors video. This time we're going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to do entity dodging. If you don't know what entity dodging is, it's a way to dodge, typically rush and ambush without having to hide in a locker or under a bed or anything like that. You can pretty much use objects on the map to hide from rush and ambush. This is super helpful, especially in rooms where there's no lockers. Shout out to a son called Sonny for some of these tips. He did show me a couple of them. Also, these tips are going to help you with with speed running. So if you're a speed runner, these are just really helpful for you in general to know. So if you're like trying to get like really, really fast times, you need to know these methods. And if you're new to doors, this should help you survive and maybe make it to the end a little easier. Before I begin though, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get going. All right, so if you're new to doors, if you see lights flickering, troubles ahead. Essentially what's gonna happen is when you first open a door, you're gonna wanna look for these lights to flicker. There's several reasons why these lights might flicker, okay? So one would be Rush is about to head over here and then you're gonna hear that you know screaming sound in the distance and at that point you should hide essentially what's gonna happen with rush is he's gonna fly through the door and he's gonna head to the next door and open it as long as the door is not locked and if you're in his line of sight you're gonna die and line of sight is really really important for you to understand so the game uses ray casting and the best way to describe ray casting is imagine this is the you know monster the entity like rush right and right now i can see it right and i can put my cursor right on that light so but if i move right here obviously i can't see the light and that means the light probably can't see me which means it can't raycast me so if you were to draw a line from this light straight to me obviously it can't because it's obstructed by this so i'm going to show you in a little bit and we're going to be using raycasting as our way of hiding from rush and knowing that you should be able to find and experiment a lot with like different ways you can avoid him now in this room in particular, there's multiple places you could hide. Obviously you could hide in the locker, but what if there was no locker inside this room? Where would you hide? Well, one place you could check is like right here. So you can see as long as I can't see where um, Rush is gonna be flying, because essentially what's gonna happen here is Rush is gonna fly through this door and he's gonna head straight towards this door, right? Well, if I hide right here, I can't see him, right? So if I can't see him, he shouldn't be able to see me and therefore I should be able to survive right here. As long as I hide right here. Another place I could hide is gonna be like right here you do need to be careful with some rooms by the way sometimes rush will clip through the room especially since you know the way he travels he doesn't travel like us he can travel through walls so he might clip through so you got to be really careful being in like corners like that because he might actually um, collide with you so another thing you could do is hide like right here as long as you can't see that door you should be safe so you could hide behind this chair um, you could also hide behind here because you can't see the door right that's where he's gonna exit and of course you can hide right here. Now, even though I can see over this bed, he can't actually hit me because the bed's technically blocking me. Also, ambush is identical for the ray casting as rush. Now, real quick, this room right here, you can't hide from him. There's just no way, there's no place to hide. So you can't do any entity dodging here. I'm um, also be showing you some clips of some of these, by the way. Also up here, this is another safe spot. He can't actually hit you up here. So if you run upstairs, so like if there's no lockers in here, um, I think there is. No, there's not. So in this particular room, you can just go up here. He won't be able to get you up here either. Or you could go in here. You could also hide sometimes, depending on how deep the room is. Sometimes you can hide behind the door as well because the ray casting, as long as your body's not clipping through, the ray cast would hit the door and therefore he can't see you. Obviously, you can also use crucifix as a way to dodge without hiding, but you really want to use those sparingly. And especially if you're doing like a no locker challenge, you want to use this at the very, very end. This is a really great example of a map that has entity dodging in it. So one thing I would do is about right here, you can hide right here and you're safe. So see, I can't see this hallway anymore. Once I hide behind that, as long as I can't see the path that Rush is gonna go on, we should be safe. So we are safe here. And if there was no plant here, we would be safe there. Let's check over here. Yep, safe here. Because even though I can see over this counter, he won't be able to see me. Oddly enough, he won't be able to see me. This is another safe spot right there. Here's another safe spot right here. 
This is an entity dodging location because he's not going to go through here. He's not going to ever travel this side because this. So you can dodge right here. You can just hide behind the bookshelf. All right, here's another safe spot. Anytime you're downstairs, you're safe. So you could pretty much be down here and you're gonna be safe, he, he can't hit you. Also, you can hide right here too. So you don't have to go all the way downstairs. As long as there's a door there, you're good. And of course, any of these rooms here, you can pretty much hide in. You can hide behind the door. You can hide like right here. You can hide behind the bed. Obviously you should just hide under the bed in this case. But again, maybe you might be doing a challenge. Like you can hide here. There's a lots and lots of hiding spots, especially in any rooms that have multiple rooms. I will be creating a separate video, by the way, on tips on how to, you know, like basically a full speed running guide, because I've gotten a lot of questions from everyone of like how to set up like the live splits, how to get really good times. I've got a lot of tips coming from the top speed runners. Expect a video on that. go to this this one right here we're gonna go behind this and he can't get us behind that now you want to make sure like your body's not like clipping out on the side there you kind of want to be a little further to the left because if you can see he, he came through and he just cut straight over here but if your body's like clipping right there he's still gonna ray cast you so you want to essentially be like about like right here at the left side of the edge here Over here, I think you could technically get away with. I think you could hide over here as well. Because even though I can see him here, this is a this is actually a mesh right here. So this is a great room that is always changing up. So there's typically a couple spots here. So this would be a spot, just barely. So yeah, that would be the spot right there in that corner. Also, keep an eye out for like crucifixes in those rooms. They're usually in there. All right, so this is a good room for a safety location. I'm gonna show you the main one, which is over here on the left side, not the right side. Don't do this one. Let me tell you, it doesn't work, okay? You can see it, it, he raycasts you right there. It does not work. Try this multiple times, um, except I do have a clip. Now, if you are godlike with your movements, you can make it work. And that's what I did is I basically moved with them. So I heard him come through and then I moved over and blocked that spot. So I did make it work, but it's really, really hard to do. The easiest thing to do is just go over here and he can't get you. You're really safe here. So this is an easy one. Just go in the room. I've used this room probably the most for all my entity dodges. Like this is like the biggest one. But this is a great room for entity dodging. These tips are for solo, by the way. The best tip for entity dodging for co-op or like duos, any kind of party stuff you're gonna wanna do is safe zone hop. 
what I mean by safe zone hop is you have someone go ahead and I did that with Sunny already and it was a lot of fun. Basically you have one person going ahead to trigger the entity. So like rush or ambush and everyone else stays behind like at least I would say three, four rooms and they stay in the safe area and then the, the person that's navigating or scouting ahead will tell them when it's safe. So that's a really, really like conservative way to keep people safe. Maybe they don't know how to NTD dodge or maybe they're new to the game. You could do it that way too. Um, this is another spot right here. So you could pretty much go right here and you're safe. So if Rush came through, and I'll show you a clip of this right now. I've done it a couple times. You could also do this ambush. It's really awesome. You just have to be careful you're in the right placement. You're just basically just kind of sit in that corner and you're good. Um, but I, I have been killed once in this spot, so it's not 100% consistent. I think it's just maybe I was clipping through weird. So I don't know. I don't know what happened, but that's a really good spot just on top of the, the clock and just crouch down and hide there. And the reason why they can't get you is again, they come through here, right? And they're coming through the glass. They're not coming around here and then in. They're coming through the glass like this. And they're clipping through and they're going this way, right? Well, they can't raycast you right there. And then they come through and they're actually clipping through like right through here. They can't see you because there's too many like mesh objects here. So they can't actually raycast you. So pretty much when you're um, entity dodging, if the lights flicker in here, that's where you'd go. You don't have to go backwards or try to get through too fast. You can just hide right in that corner. It's really helpful. Also, if you proceed, Make sure you remember, you can come back. So like if, if it blinks, I have a clip here of that happening. If it blinks ahead, you can always turn around. Um, you might have to pop vitamins because you're heading straight to you know, rush, but that works too. Here's another room right here. So this is obviously room 60. So behind room 60 is a hole in the wall. You can just hide behind here. I'll show you a clip of that. Remember, anytime you go to a new room, you can always head back. You don't have to keep going forward. All right, so in this room, it's really important, by the way, to always remember the room you just went into because if you're being chased by Rush and you get the blinking, and especially in a room like this, you can you know you got two doors. In this case, we already know that the next room here is gonna be 66. So in this case, we can immediately go left if we're being chased and go behind a closet like this, especially if this is like a bookshelf like this then you can always hide there. As far as hiding spots in this room, you could probably hide like right here. Sometimes there are hiding spots, you know, because you can see there's no way he can, can't ray trace me, but sometimes you just can't hide in here. It's just really hard to find a hiding spot. And so by the time you finally find a hiding spot, you're probably dead, sadly. So, you know, even in here, it's really, real tough. Like you can try to like hide right here. I have done it. You just have to be like really, really fast. Yeah, you die right here. Yeah, you gotta be careful in that room. This room you can hide right here. So what I like to do, especially when I'm doing a normal run like this, I just kind of like go around and kind of test like locations. That way you can get better and better and you'll start recognizing locations. You'll be like, oh yeah, I can just go right here. Hide, boom, done. So another thing I want to show you real quick is this bedroom. So you see this like um, cart here. It looks like you could go through it, but you can't, right? So imagine if this was a solid shape. In that case, you can hide behind here. So you can hide pretty much like right here and you're blocked from it. Even though it looks like you can see through it, it's actually a solid object. Believe it or not, this is a solid mesh because I can't move through it. So you could actually hide behind this as well. Really helpful. Or you could just hide right here or right here. But yeah, lots of options in this room. Obviously, you can just hide in the locker if you prefer. All right, so this is obviously the courtyard. Sometimes someone can come through, especially like a rush. You can come out here and you can hide behind like bushes and such. You can hide behind trees. You could try to at least. I think you could also hide right here, but I'm not 100% on that. I haven't had a hide from him out here. All right, we're gonna enter a really difficult spot. So basically L-shaped rooms have this spot right here. Let's see if he's coming. Yep, here he comes. So you can hide right here. This is a tip from uh, Sunny, by the way. So Sunny gave me this tip. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna have to bolt back down here so you can open the next door and you're gonna have to charge back in here. Now it doesn't work in these rooms. So these basic rectangle boxes don't work. It has to be in the L-shaped room. So you can see there's like this planter right here. You have to, you have to hide right here and it works because Rush's ray casting has a specific range limit and it can't reach you here. Okay, this is the spot right here. 
So if Rush comes, which he's not right now, you can, you can hide right here. So let's go do it. Let's go open up another one real quick. Oh, my bat my battery's dead. No. Okay, let's open that. We're going to head back over here. Hide right here. We're going to wait for Rush. There he comes. There he goes. So we just dodged him inside the greenhouse. Again, this only works in the L-shaped rooms. But yeah, that's pretty much all the entity dodging for today. Obviously, I'm still learning a lot of new spots and techniques. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And I'll see you all in the next vid. Peace.